people who compare what's going on in the US to Hong Kong is just disrespectful and a complete over-exaggeration. I've seen multiple posts in the past week of people comparing the BLM protests to the Hong Kong protests. While I do believe there is a clear problem in the US right now with the police, Hong Kong is literally completely fucked in the ass. Hong Kong is about to have to surrender their democracy to China while in the US we have bad cops. The only comparison I've made it how what happened in Minneapolis happens in Hong Kong daily, has been going on for over a year and that every company that supports BLM is virtue signaling otherwise they would support HK. Sadly supporting HK won't bring in good PR and money so these companies don't care. I think everything in the USA is over exaggerated TBH, especially anything political related. For example, Bernie equals communist. Trump equals fascist. Coming from a country with a background in both, I can tell you that the USA has seen nothing close to communism or fascism, and it's so tiring hearing people throw those words around like nothing. I think the way companies react to the two situations is interesting. Like Sony deleting photos from HK or Blizzard banning everyone involved with an activist. Anyone who makes this comparison is immediately dead to me. I've been following the HK stuff for a long time. The only comparison between the two I've seen are how companies are speaking up with BLM but they didn't with HK. It makes it seem like virtue signaling because they only do it when there isn't a risk. Too bad 99% of the interwebs, Reddit especially, has already forgotten about the Hong Kong situation a long ass time ago. Maybe it's because it doesn't fit their narrative anymore people comparing ICE detention centers to Holocaust concentration camps. I like to preface this by saying I'm from HK. We can't care about everything. We just can't. There are just so many things happening in this world, most people would choose to care about what's closest to them. And for Americans, they choose to care about DLM. For people in HK, it's their own protest. Most people in HK don't even care that much about what's happening in the US. And if they feel one matter is more important slash serious than the other, I'm fine with that, and I think you should be too. Also, to be quite frank, the situation in HK is not what the media portrays. While a lot of what people claim is true, we are not in a life or death situation here. I'm fairly certain most people in HK would rather be a H cur than be a black guy in America. I think there are similar underlying concepts, but varying levels of intensity. I've been comparing it in a way because I live in the UK. Why are you protesting the stuff that's happening in America which is tiny and then completely disregarding what's happening in Hong Kong which is basically an entire country losing their identity? People only care about issues when they're in the West. Not one of the 14-year-old girls who constantly virtue signals on Instagram has ever said anything about Hong Kong. This is the reason why I hate the BLM and its supporters. Let's face it, black Americans are privileged. Universities and workplaces care a lot about skin color, almost as much or more than merit. In America, blacks have it way better than the rest of the world. This white guilt isn't helping society no matter how woke people think they are. In China, South America, and various parts of the Middle East, people are actually facing oppression as well as suffering like in many countries in Africa. Women can't do or say what they want in their life and they have to cover their bodies, people are killed for being gay, people don't have access to food or clean water or even security, people don't have the freedom of speech and they're silenced by jail or actually killings, people are victim to cartels, corrupt governments, and lack of sufficient income. These are real and more urgent human matters that need real attending to. We're a spoiled society, and helping the BLM doesn't help humanity all that much. When POTUS wanted stricter border control and for illegal immigrants to be deported slash detained, people were outraged by that even though it's a foreign slash international matter. Yet, when we have these other countries needing more attention, the voice of Americans doesn't shout, nor gather in large protest, nor even desire to donate money or actually volunteer to put their lives aside to go and volunteer long term in these countries or something. All we have is black people protesting their cause, 
and white people putting them up on a pedestal, as well as flexing their donations to the BLM and black-owned businesses. Aside from the BLM, why are people just now choosing to donate and protest? I can't support the hypocritical support slash protest really. Especially when ITLL be changing society in terms of more white guilt in which persons of color, mainly blacks, will be getting that raise, promotion, university spot, or other beneficial selection as well as a louder voice people will want to listen to. I feel like I have to say that I'm black and Peruvian so people will be less inclined to think of me as an ignorant straight white male, thanks to be being black, I may enjoy the fruits of this movement by getting these financial slash moral benefits but it is not given to me rightfully, only because people see my skin color and identify me as a victim. How sad that society is worsening because of what people consider to be a good cause, also thanks to political correctness and fake wokeness.